So we're required to solve these simultaneous equations, x squared plus y squared equals 9, and x plus y equals 2. And we've got to give our answers correct to two decimal places. So we have one um, equation that involves squares and one that doesn't. So the only way we can do this is by what's called the substitution method. So we'll have to make either x or y, it doesn't really matter, the subject of the equation, and drop it into the top equation. So I'm going to let x be the subject of the equation in the second one, and x would equal 2 minus y. I can now substitute um, that value in for 2x, so I'll just write it up so you can see clearly what I'm doing. So x squared plus y squared equals 9. So let's replace x then with 2 minus y, so we've got 2 minus y squared plus y squared equals 9. So we need to expand our brackets. This will give me 2 minus y times 2 minus y plus y squared equals 9. And expanding these brackets we're going to end up with 4 minus 4y plus y squared plus y squared. I'll bring the 9 over because to solve this equation we need to set it equal to 0. So uh, if we look at that we end up with 2y squared minus 4y, and then we've got our 4 here and our minus 9 here, which gives me minus 5. So I now need to use the quadratic formula um, to solve this. So I will write this out on the, the second, our second page, and we'll use the quadratic formula to find the values of y, and then we'll substitute back into here, get the value of x, or into here rather, into here would be better. So we'll use the quadratic formula to solve this equation. We can see that a is 2, b is minus 4, and c is minus 5. So I'm going to put them into the formula, which I'll just write out here. Minus b, plus or minus, the square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2, a. You can see that at the front of the question booklet. I'll now enter this information in. I will do the plus first, then I'll do the minus second to get the two values of y, and then we'll put them into the um, equation connecting x and y together to get the values of x. So substituting in the values a equals 2, b equals minus 4, and c equals minus 5. And I'll show you um, this entered into the calculator to give me my solutions. So for y then, um, in the first case we get y to two decimal places is minus 0.88. And in the second one we get a solution 2.88. Now remember that x equals 2 minus y. So in our first case then we're going to have x equals 2 minus minus 0 0.88, which equals 2.88. And then to subtract, to subtract 2.88 gives me minus 0 0.88. So those are the solutions.